Last week, Adidas North America came forward with a new initiative that will financially compensate U.S. high schools that decide to drop any Native American names or mascots associated with their sports teams. This happened at the 7th Annual White House Tribal Nation Conference, Margaret, and in first looks, it looked like a great initiative. If you forget that this same company profits from many professional teams with Native American names. So for many, that was kind of like, what are you talking about? Right. Specifically because at this celebration, the Tribal Nations Conference, President Obama celebrated the initiative and said, well, hopefully a team here in town, here in Washington, might want to change his name, obviously referring to the Redskins. The Redskins said, Dude, I call bullshit, that is not cool. That initiative is Dude. a bunch of hypocrisy. They didn't, they didn't took jabs at the president. They took jabs at the initiative saying, that's hypocrisy because you profit from other teams at the professional level that use Native American names and you just want to create new clients in the U.S. high schools by changing their names and getting them on their contract to make their kids because high school sports is also a profitable operation. Well, so we don't see this as company sensitivity. We see this as um, a marketing ploy exactly. to get newer, cool, you know, new kids, new kids to join. Huh. Um, do we know anything about the two brothers that originated Adidas and, and Puma? Am I saying that right? Am I saying that word right? Adidas? I've, I've actually never purchased um, an Adidas product before. No? I have not. So I, I, you know, I... The story of Adidas story. is kind of interesting. It was... Um, two German brothers. Yes. We have uh, Rudolf and... Adolf, but it's not Adolf any longer. Because they changed the name, because right after the Second World War, everyone that was called Adolf didn't want to be called Adolf. Understandably. So they became Adi. So their last name was Das, and that's how Adi Das came to be. But him and his brother fought over the whole situation, and they decided to split. And Puma was born from the second brother. Right. And the biggest two sportswear companies were born from the same family, which is pretty crazy. It is. They were Nazis. So oh. they have a history of racism in their company. That's not to that relate aside, Adidas though, to, the, to that in no way whatsoever. <laughs> That's just a historical fact. Right. But fast forward to today, we see this company trying to get their hat into the you know, political correctness debate and saying, I'm going to support you guys with money, with kids, and with uniforms if you decide to drop your name, but I'm going to steal... Take Profit. the money from major from, sports teams exactly. and this little little marketing. Let me ask you something, though. Do you applaud them for their effort, or does it annoy you that it seems kind of cheap and I think they're playing into uh, 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 you know, the environment that is right now happening in the United States where mm -hmm. race debate is really, really hot. The president wants also to do a good job representing every group and companies with lobbyists because not only there's not only lobbyists for policy, there's also lobbyists for marketing that want to get into initiatives of the government because it's going to sell. So this, I think, is just that junction where very savvy marketers advise these brands to get along with initiatives of, from the government, and they come up with these plans. But as you see, the results are not really uh, important to the bigger discourse of race equality in this country. Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the Live TV 2